then uh, this public hearing of the Committee on Public Works is hereby called to order. At this point, let me acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator uh, Ramon Bong Rebilla Jr., our, our uh, Vice Chairman, uh, and also Senator Lito Lapid, the, the author of uh, Senate Bill Number no. 1882, uh, and Senator Amy Marcos. Uh, with the uh, uh, for uh, senators present, the chair declares uh, the presence of a quorum. This time, I would like to ask to the committee secretary uh, to acknowledge our guest. Good afternoon. I would like to acknowledge the following guests. Congresswoman Precious Hippolyta Castello from the 2nd District, Quezon City. Congressman Amsad Rudin Abdul Malik Adyong from the 1st District of Lanao del Sur. Congressman Allen Jose Mangawang from the Lone District of Kalinga. Congressman Maximo Dalog Jr. from the Lone District of Mountain Province. Congressman Muhammad Kali Dimaporo from the 1st District of Lanao del Norte. Congressman Frederick Shaw from the Lone District of Iligan City. Mr. Edwin Fortes, Engineer 5, Planning Service, Department of Public Works and Highways, and Deputy Director Alvin Alcid from the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. That's all, Mr. Chairman. We'd like the senator to unmute his microphone. I can't hear you, Senator Mani. Okay. This public hearing was uh, called here today to discuss several bills. I would like to thank our uh, colleagues uh, from the House of Representatives uh, for giving time to attend today's hearing despite their uh, busy schedules. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Kong uh, Eliandro Jesusa Madrona my counterpart in the House of Representatives as Chairman of the Committee on Public Works and Highways. I would like uh, uh, to ask the Committee Secretary to read uh, the titles of the Senate and House bills uh, referred to, this, uh, to the committee. Sir, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Congressman Mark Go. Yes. From the Lone District Mountain Province. So, Baguio City. The following are the bills to be taken up today Senate Bill 1822, an act renaming Del Monte Avenue in Quezon City to Fernando Po Jr. Avenue. House Bill 7499, an act renaming Del Monte Avenue to Fernando Po Jr. Avenue. House Bill Number 7355, an act renaming the Marawi Maging Bumbaran Wow Road, stretching from the city of Marawi, traversing through the municipalities of Maging, Bumbaran, and Wow, all in the province of Lanao del Sur, as Governor Mamintal M. Adyong's Senior National Road. House Bill Number 6467, an act renaming the portion of the mountain province, boundary Kalana and Rile Road, to Manuel S. Aguiao Boulevard. Under the creation of engineering districts, we have House Bill Number 6227, an act creating a new district engineering office in the third legis legislative office of the province of Zamboanga del Norte and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill Number 5892, an act creating a new district engineering office in the fourth legislative district in the province of Bukidnon and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill Number 5890, and are creating the Illegal City District Engineering Office and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill Number 5891, an act reconstituting the Lanao del Norte District Engineering Office in the province of Lanao del Norte into two separate district engineering offices and appropriating funds therefore. And House Bill Number 5855, an act establishing the second district engineering office in the municipality of Compostela, province of Compostela Valley, and appropriating funds therefore. 
For the road conversion, we have House Bill Number 6585, an act classifying the San Fernando Bypass Road and San Fernando Bypass Extension Road in the province of La Union into National Road and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill Number 6492, an act converting the Sagada Besao Quirino Ilocosu Road into a national road and appropriating funds therefore. And for the road bridge construction and rehabilitation, we have House Bill 6491, an act mandating the full rehabilitation and maintenance of Cannon Road under the Department of, the, of Public Works and Highways. And uh, another one is House Bill Number 5889, an act providing for the construction of a national highway from Lanao del Norte Interior Circumferential Road in the Municipality of Tagoloan, Province of Lanao del Norte, to the Municipality of Talakag, Province of Bugitnon, with a crossroad at Barangay Malibato, Municipality of Tagoloan, Province of Lanao del Norte, and connecting roads to the national highway in Iligan City, through Barangay Pugaan, Iligan City, and to the National Highway in Marawi City, through the municipality of Kapay, province of Lanao del Sur, to be known as the Muslim Christian Unity Highway and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill Number 5887, an act providing for the construction of our undersea tunnel or bridge from Cebu City to the municipality of Cordova and a coastal road exp expressway to the Mactan Cebu International Airport and appropriating funds therefore, House Bill Number 1079, an act mandating the construction of a coastal road connecting the Caloocan, Malabon, Navotas, and Valenzuela, Kamanava area to the provinces of Bulacan, Pampanga, and Bataan, and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill num and House Bill Number 497, an act providing for the construction of a circumferential road from the district north to the second district south of Cebu City. That's all, Mr. Chairman. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Secretary. Uh, on the renaming of streets, uh, we have uh, Senate Bill Number uh, 1882 and House Bill Number 7499, uh, Fernando Po Jr. Avenue. The Senate bill was uh, authored by Senator uh, Lapid and the House uh, bill was uh, authored by Representative uh, Hippolito Castello. I would, I would like to ask uh, Kung uh, Precious uh, Hippolito Castello or Kung Madrona for any comments. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for this honor and opportunity for me to uh, join and be a part of your uh, joint uh, committee, a hearing of the Senate Committee on Public Works, as well as the Senate Committee on Finance. It's truly an honor, Mr. Chairman, to be uh, a part of this uh, hearing. So uh, House Bill Number 7499 was introduced by this representation, uh, as well as also a version of uh, by Congressman Madrona. My, uh, one of the, um, some of the principal sponsors include Congressman Onyx Crisologo, Congresswoman Bernard Herrera, and most of my colleagues from Quezon City. So, Mr. Chairman, um, this bill seeks to rename Del Monte Avenue in Quezon City as Fernando Po Jr. Avenue or FPJ Avenue. Mr. Chairman, as we all know, uh, FPJ is lovingly called as a great cultural icon and champion of the masses. We, everybody loves uh, Fernando Poe Jr. even after he died. So we keep watching his movies and all of which are blockbusters. He is not only an actor, a writer, a director, but as well as a producer. And he is well known for his charity, positive moral values, as well as his honorable characteristics that made him famous and popular among all classes of the society. Chairman, his legacy lives on in FPJ Productions along Del Monte Avenue, Quezon City, for his unprecedented contribution to culture and Philippine society. And it is but fitting, Mr. Chairman, that he be memorialized where his legacy lives on. In fact, Mr. Chairman, in support of the passage of this proposed House bill, the Quezon City Council, uh, led by uh, my husband, Councillor Winnie Castello, Councillor Herrera, and Councillor Medina, uh, filed and uh, that was approved the resolution number SP8165 series of 2020. 
in support of this house bill so mr chairman i heard and i read just a few minutes ago that there are some who are not um, in favor of this proposed um, house bill so i am willing and we are amenable mr chairman as to the decision of this honorable august body whether you will be approving or defer consideration of this proposed measure thank you very much mr chairman and good afternoon so let's uh let's move on now. Ask the Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, Mr. 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 Chair. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, Mr. Chair. I, yes, I just wanted to support uh, Congresswoman Precious Castello's uh, uh, motion together with our uh, own colleague Senator Lapid. And I think that the opposition is uh, um, not substantial and largely unmerited. And that in fact, the uh, reasons for renaming it as uh, the iconic FPJ uh, Avenue is uh, much more important and significant to our cultural and historical um, legacy. Thank you very much. Thank, uh, thank you, Senator uh, Amy Marcos. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Senator Bong, recognize. Mr. Chair, I wholeheartedly support this measure, having heard the intent and the purpose of this, and I move for the approval of this, uh, on this level, on the committee level, Mr. President, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Bong. Uh, now uh, I would like to ask, uh, um, Deputy uh, Executive Director of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines uh, regarding this uh, opinion on the bills, uh, Mr. Alvin uh, Alcid. Thank, thank you. Good. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, and uh, good afternoon to all our distinguished uh, senators, to our distinguished congressmen sponsoring this uh, House bill and Senate bill. Um, we at the NHCP, of course, agree that um, uh, uh, Fernando Po Jr. deserves recognition. In fact, he was um, honored as a national artist in 2006 uh, in, uh, due, uh, in, uh, with respect to his contribution to film. We just wanted to, um, in, our, um, in our position paper, which is shown on the screen, as you can see there, uh, we have our reservations because um, uh, Del Monte Avenue, which we seek, we seek to rename, um, is an old name uh, based on the records that we found. Um, um, based on the heritage law uh, also, um, there is a provision there that says that uh, streets which has been in existence for more than 50 years or older should, are considered historic already. So that is uh, where we are coming from. Uh, we found in some records that as early as the 1960s, the Del Monte Avenue is already existing. And we would also like to um, emphasize that uh, Del Monte, of course, came from the, um, the area where it is from, San Francisco Del Monte. Del Monte is an old settlement in, the, in 1590. Um, the area was um, chosen by the Franciscan missionaries. That is why we have the De San Pedro Bautista Church. Uh, that is just our um, position, Mr. Chair, just to uh, put it on record. We are, of course, re respect whatever the decision of the Senate and the, on this matter, because as you know, the, you have the power to enact laws. I, we just wanted to put on record our comment because we were asked to uh, give our position on the matter, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Alvin Alcid, uh, for your uh, explanation. Uh, there was a so, Chair, with all due respect um, to yes. our uh, good representative from NHCP, if uh, we went by that rubric that anything that was 50 years old or 60 years old would never more be changed there would be no progress in this country thank you 
Um, I would like to hear the uh, uh, committee secretary, Ethel. So good afternoon. There is a letter addressed to the Senate President. I will just share it. Okay. Okay. Uh, addressed to the Senate President, but the, uh, given to the office of the Senate President, but addressed to Senator Lapid. Uh, we will act on the motion of uh, Vice Chairman uh, Senator Bukilia. After we listen to the uh, sides, uh, uh, I'd like to ask um, uh, the director of... Uh, sir, sir, excuse me, sir. This is the letter addressed to Senator Lapid. It was given to the committee by the Office of the Senate President, Senator Vicente Soto. Mm. Ano ba to igit na? Eh, pag inusog ko, laki ang kumita. Sige. Yan. Okay. Okay, Secretary, we have read all the opposition leaders. Um, we will uh, uh, action next. Uh, I would like to ask the, the director Santi uh, Llanes uh, from uh, the planning service of DPWH. Since you are the lead the agency that this bill passed into law, can you give us your? Can I stop sharing? Director Constante uh, Llanes. Yes. Uh, President, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Senator Manuel Pacquiao, good afternoon, sir. To the on honorable senators and the uh, honorable congressman present, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, for the DPWH, actually, we have a collective co collective comment on on the four house bills that are uh, in the agenda right now, Mr. Chair. But uh, for this particular house bill, um, the department interposes no objection on on to this uh, proposed renaming of uh, state. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like also to share again, there is a um, resolution from the city government of Quezon City in support of the renaming. Uh, in support of the renaming? Of yes, of course, sir. That, noted on that. Now I would like sir, to ask, uh, uh, I would like to ask the opinion of uh, and uh, comment of position of uh, Senator uh, Lito Lapid. The Senator Lapid is here. Maraming salamat, Mr. Chairman. Uh, meron po akong uh, sponsor speech, uh, pero isa sa mito lang sa Secretariat. Pero may dadagdag lang ako. Siguro po alam niyo naman kung gaano kalapit kay APJ, kay Fernando Po Jr. at sa kanyang ama na si Fernando Po Jr. Sige. Ang po lagi kong sinasabi, naririnig ba ako? Yes, yes, naririnig ka. Lagi ko po kasi sinasabi noon dahil alam niyo naman po siguro ng lahat at nakasama ko si APJ sa isang pelikula, yung Calibre 45. At lagi ko sinasabi rin at uh, sa pamilya namin, Walang lapit sa pelikula kung hindi kay FPJ at kay FPJ Senior. 
Fernando po Senior. At yun nga, ako ay natira din dyan sa, sa Francisco del Monte, dyan po sa San Pedro Bautista. Tabi po na simbahan to. At uh, yun nga po, yung lapit namin na bilang pamilya, parang ama namin yan, si Fernando po Junior. At uh, parang kapatid, pamilya kami. Yung nga po, yung tatay ko kasi namatay sa kandungan niya. Sa taxi. Ang nagkukwento po, Miss Boss, si Fernando po Junior. Kaya po, uh, sinusulong ko po itong Senate Bill na 1822. Dito po kasi sa Senate, lahat po ng mga kasamahan ko dito, uh, uh, supportado nila. Lahat po ng mga senador dito, nakasama ko, mga colleagues natin. Uh, ayan, nandiyan dyan si uh, Chairman Manny. Narinig naman po niya. Kaya po, uh, hindi po natin na inaalis ang mga historia, historical dito sa lalong-lalong na po dyan sa San Francisco del Monte at uh, wala naman po kasi San Francisco Street, Del Monte Street lang po, uh, avenue po. Kaya pwede naman po sigurong pag-usapan at uh, siguro bigyan natin ng halaga. Yung nagawang kabutihan, alam naman po natin si The King, kung tawagin sa pelikula, siya po ay The King ng Masa. Ako naman bida ng Masa. <laughs> Joke lang po yun. Pero yun po, ang totoo nun. At uh, ang dami po niyang natulungan ng mga tao dahil lang, yan po ay eh, halos araw-araw kasama ko yan at uh, turing niya sa akin parang kapatid ako naman turing ko sa kanya ay parang ama na bilang uh, misan siya nag advice sa akin kung anong gagawin at kung anong dapat gawin kaya yun po kaya masyado ko interesado dito sa Fernando po Jr. Abenyo na may lagay dito sa Del Monte Abenyo Huwag po kayong mag-alala, hindi po natin sinisira ang istorya ng San Francisco del Monte. Marami po salamat. Thank you, uh, uh, Senator Lapid. Uh, we have taken note of the support and oppositions uh, on this uh, measure. Does Senator Bong Rivilla have uh, anything to say? Um, Senator Bong, uh, do you have uh, anything to say about this? Uh, nakamute ka, nakamute ka. Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, the committee has taken due note and consideration of the position submitted by the resource persons. May I reiterate, however, my motion for the approval of the measure at the committee level. So I move, Mr. Chair. Okay, there is a motion uh, for approval of this uh, bill. Uh, There's a motion for approval of this uh, bill. Uh, yes, I second the motion, Mapo Chair. Okay, uh, Senate Bill number 1882 and House Bill number 7499 is uh, approved. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, po, Senator Bong and Senators. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Senator. Salamat po. <clears throat> Still on uh, let's talk about still on renaming uh, of streets. Uh, we have House Bill number seven three five five, Governor uh, Martal M. Anjong Senior National Road. This uh, House Bill number seven three five five was authored by Kong uh, and Surading uh, Anjong and Surading Anjong. I would like to ask uh, Kong Anjong for any comments, uh, Kong. Hello, sir. On the, on the most, uh, no, approval tayo. You know? uh? may, may mga opposition Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, yes, ko. Pwede po ako ano, may kunting short uh, ano lang, sasalita lang ako. Yes, uh, uh, Good afternoon po, uh, Honorable Chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Works, Senator Man Emmanuel Mani Pacquiao, Honorable Senators, Honorable Colleagues from the House of Representatives, 
Distinguished guests, good afternoon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi I humbly sponsored House Bill 7355, an act renaming the Makawi Mulundu Maging Bumbaran Wau Road, stretching from the city of Marawi City, traversing through the municipalities of Maging, Mulundu, Bumbaran, and Wau, all in the province of Lanao del Sur, as Governor Mamintal M. Ajong Sr. National Road. The Marawi Maging Mulundu Bumbaran Wau Road is the brainchild of the late Governor Mamintal M. Ajong Sr. It was his dream to shorten the long travel time between Marawi City and the municipalities of Bumbaran and Wao, Lanao del Sur, and the provinces of Bukidnon and Davao. Hence, it was called the Dream Road. With its completion, Governor Adjong Sr.'s dream became a reality. Renaming said road to Governor M. Adjong Sr. is just benefiting for a public servant who has been a strong pillar of peace for Mindanao. He has been the pioneer of major infrastructure projects and reforms in the province, which has led to more developed trade linkages between and among municipalities in the province. Its present name is long and confusing. The National Historical Commission has in fact directed the names of roads should be specific and less complicated. It is therefore appropriate that said road be named after Governor Mamintal M. Adjong Sr., who envisioned a more accessible infrastructure landscape for Lano del Sur. I therefore appeal to the Honorable Senate Committee on Public Works for an approval of House Bill 7355 Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, uh, Congressman uh, Adyong uh, Ansarudin, uh, for your uh, uh, comment. And I would like uh, I would like to ask uh, the National Historic uh, Commission of the Philippines regarding their uh, opinions, uh, Director uh, Alced. What is your opinion? Yes, Mr. Chair. We, yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. With regards to the remaining uh, uh, items on the renaming, uh, the NHP interposes no objection, Mr. Chair. This is uh, we are we discussed this with regards to the um, to the uh, comment on seven three five five. Right now, I will put on record that uh, we do not object to the renaming, Mr. Chair. So, and also, uh, I would like to ask the DPWH. Uh, there's a in the representative of DPWH, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon once again, Mr. Chairman. Uh, our uh, the department stand on this. Uh, the department interposes no objection to the proposed renaming of this street, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. So, since there is a motion to approve and. Do we have a motion to approve? Yes, we move therefore that uh, the, the uh, act renaming the Marawi Maging Bumbaran Wow Road be renamed Governor Mamintal M. Adjong Singh National Road. Is there any objection? Hearing none, uh, the motion is approved. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Anjong uh, Ansaruddin. Uh, salamat po, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Mr. Anoto. Congratulations. Kumusta kay Gob? Okay naman po. Maraming salamat po. Our uh, third renaming of streets, uh, we have House Bill number 646, uh, Manuel S. Uh, Agyao Boulevard. This house bill is uh, authored by Kong Alin uh, GC Mangawang. I would like to ask Mangawang uh, and Kong Matruna for any comments of that. Yes, um, yes, Mr. Chairman. 
the Honorable Chairman and Senator Manuel uh, Pacquiao, Honorable Members of this uh, committee. Uh, can you uh, lower the uh, volume of the, uh, I think that there's uh, another, I uh, know. Okay. Hello. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Can you lower the volume of, uh, I think that there's another gadget in your, in your uh, office, in your table. Thank you, thank you. Go ahead. Okay, is, is, it, is it okay? Talk, talk to House Bill 6467, six to name a portion of the province. Congressman, excuse me, po, nag-feedback po. Pahina na pa, audio niya. Pahina na lang po daw yung audio. Thank you. Go ahead, uh, Congressman. Uh, hello. <coughs> nag i nag i ko pa rin. Yeah, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Is it okay? Medyo pangit pa. Okay, ko. Pa Pamute lang po yung mga naka-on na gadgets kasi nag-feedback po. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Chair. House Bill 6467. Six to name a portion of the mountain province boundary Chalan and Henry Road, stretching from Antonio Cano Bridge, traversing through barangays Bulano and Spill, all in the city of Tabu province of Kalinga, as the Manuel S. Aguiao Boulevard. To pay homage and tribute to a great Ikalinga, the late Honorable Manuel S. Aguiao, a public servant through and through, the late legislator and former assistant secretary of the Department of Public Works and Highways was instrumental in bringing about meaningful change in the province of Kalinga. The late congressman serves as assistant secretary of the Department of Public Works and Highways from 2002 to 2006. Today, he still holds the distinction of being the only native of Kalinga who reached the position of Assistant Secretary. After his retirement from the Department of Public Works and Highways, he served as a representative for the Lone District of the province of Kalinga, from particularly the 14th, 15th, and 16th Congress. During his term, he authored several landmark legislations for the province like the conversion of the Kalinga State College into a state university, the creation of the Upper Linga Engineering District Office, the creation of an additional branch of regional trial court, and the declaration of the province of Kalinga as a touristic development area. And of course, the, the nationalization of several high schools. As a public servant, from the time he started as a young engineer, in the Department of Public Works and Highways, rising from the ranks to become an assistant secretary up to his last term as the representative, Congressman Aguiao provided significant contributions to the socioeconomic and infrastructure development of Kalinga. Much of the progress of Kalinga in terms of infrastructure development is attributable to his relentless determination, and dedication to public service. The late, the late legacy of the late congressman continues as the province of Kalinga surges forward for greater economic progress and growth. And growth. With this, Mr. Chairman, may I, may I, may I permanently ask for the immediate approval of this bill. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Okay, the absence of the chairman, the absence of the uh, chairman, let's now hear from uh, 
from the National Historical Commission. Uh, th thank you, Senator Bong, Vice Chair of the Committee. Uh, the NHC people does not, uh, do not interpose any objection. We support them. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, the uh, Legislative Committee, uh, uh, Committee Secretary, sino susunod natin pagkasalitaan? Sir, mag-motion muna to approve. Okay. okay. Ayan, the chairman's already there. Okay. I'll be no more. No. Okay. Do you have any motion? Do, you have a, uh, do we have any motion? Yes, we have a motion to approve uh, the renaming of uh, the Kaling. Is there any motion? Secretary Manuel S. Agyal Boulevard. I second the motion of, uh, no, of uh, Senator Marcos. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Jose Agnina, po Senator IIP. Jose Agnina. Thank you so much, Senator Bong Rodilla. Jose Agnina, kanya po, apo. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a um, House Bill number 6227, authored by Kong uh, Isagani Amatong. Uh, my comments ba from uh, the authors of these bills, uh, Kong Amatong. I'd like to ask uh, Kong Amatong, she will stop. Sir, uh, Congressman Amatong cannot attend. Uh, his chief of staff, Mr. Adrian Michael Amatong, will be the one to speak. Thank you. Yes, uh, go ahead, uh, Adrian uh, Amatong, for any comments. Masana, no wala. Masana. Where is up? Mr. Adrian Amato, coming from Oh, nga. Adrian Michael. No one. Sir, nandito siya kangina. Nawala na. Baka nawala ng connection, nawala sir, kasi na. malayo sila. We can move okay. to the next, sir. Tapos balikan ko na lang, sir. Okay. I would like to ask uh, Director Llanes any comments for that? Asan si Nino? Nasa na si Ama. Itong tawagan ko na. Asan na ba yun? Saka ulit mo. Uh, good afternoon once again, Mr. Chairman, to the members of the committee and to the Honorable Congressman. Sir, uh, we have submitted our commitment uh, I Mr. Chair, to, to read to you the uh, <clears throat> the comments of the Department of Public Works and Highways regarding the House Bill 6227. Uh, yes, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, an act creating a new district engineering office in the third legislative office of the province of Zamboanga del Norte. So, please go ahead, continue your... Uh, uh, comments. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, so the comment of the department is is the following. In its existing setup, the Sambuanga del Norte Second District Engineering Office, and that is the mother DEO or District Engineering Office, is considered the first class DEO, DEO or District Engineering Office comprised of 12 municipalities from the third legislative district of the province with an aggregate length of 286.37 kilometers in the pop, uh, the population since in 2015 is 372,526 inhabitants and a land area of 3,744.58 square kilometers. Based on our technical evaluation, Mr. Chair, the proposed establishment of Sambuanga del Norte Fort DAO in the third legislative district of, of the province does not conform to the one of the parameters indicated in the Department Order 110, series of 2016, yielding a population of 132,914 inhabitants, where the minimum is 250,000 and a road length of 153.747 kilometer in its jurisdiction. Moreover, a pass-fail 
system is being implemented. Thus, a deficiency in one of the three criteria would translate to an unfavorable evaluation. That's the official comment of the department, Mr. Chair, that we submitted to you already per uh, uh, our letter dated 29 September this year. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Just a clarification lang. Uh, may I know uh, when it is a uh, census or survey you made the uh, one taon ito? You know what? 2015, Mr. Chairman, that's the basis of the uh, survey, Mr. Chair. It was uh, five years ago. So, back up. Ngayon, qualified na sila in terms of uh, population requirements. Uh, sir, uh, the, 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 I understand that the census or the statistics would, would be out usually uh, every five years, yan, Mr. Chairman. So if they would uh, reach the minimum required inhabitants of 250,000, sir, today, then they would pass. This is based on, on the 2015 uh, uh, census, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Director. And now I would like to ask the um, representative of uh, Amatong, uh, Mr. Uh, his, uh, uh, Chief of Staff, Mr. Andrian Amatong, for any comments. Yes, uh, Adrian. Uh, good afternoon, Paul. Sir, uh, with all due respect to the position of the DPWH, we would like to argue that in the population alone should not be a hindrance for the introduction of a new engineering district because the said engineering district will introduce in, uh, new economic opportunities for the area that will spur the growth of the area, consequently, the population of the area. Because the, the, the debate between population and development is like the chicken and egg debate. Number one, if you will check the, the data, the area is composed of 1,947 square kilometers, way beyond the required, which is 100 square kilometers. This is, the terrain is mostly mountainous, and if you will check the economic condition, most of the people are living below the poverty line. So, in fact, in the latest data, most of them are living, most of the municipalities are have more than 50% living in poverty. So, currently, the engineering district based in Labason covers 12 municipalities of the district of third district of Zamboanga del Norte. Well, they, they are doing an impeccable job. We, we think they are spread too thin and simply cannot cover the entire 12 municipalities because I will show you a map. Ito po, ito pong green, ito po yung covered ng engineering district ng uh, based in Labason. If you will see dun sa, sa Delso, eh, sa Sibugay, tsaka sa Buwangi area, Yung, yung expand na yan, yung, yung area niyan covered, tatlong engineering districts po ang may hawak niyan. Whereas itong buong third district ng Zambawa de Norte, iisa lang po. Tapos yung pong triple SB, Chocon, Sirawai, Sibuko, and Baligyaan, lagi pong pag meron pong nangyayaring mga kidnapping o anumang mga uh, organized na mga, ano, mga lawless elements dito, tumatakbo po yan sa area yon kasi mahirap pong habulin ng ating mga tao sa, sa police or sa military kasi nga po, number one yung road network, hindi pa ganun dahil po may hirap ang mga tao madali po silang makapagtago amongst the, the, the people there so we we, we hope by introducing a new engineering district makukover po makukover po Uh, nawala ka, Adrian? Nakayat ang signal. Uh, malayo po kasi sila, Sen. Ah, malayo pa sila. Yes, uh, sir. Kung, uh, 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 Director uh, Lianis, uh, can you give us the cost of uh, each engineering district like overhead uh, personal services, rentals, everything? 
um, magkano yung cost niya? Uh, sir, can I get back to you, sir, uh, regarding that? Uh, I'll, I'll just take the info. I'll just get the information now from from it. I, I don't have it with me right now. Uh, but uh, actually, sir, Mr. Chair, if, 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 if I'm, uh, you yes, don't sir. have an idea to uh, how much the cost of uh, each engineering uh, uh, district? Uh, like, uh, approximately, lang. I'm not saying that the uh, exact number, but uh, approximately. Mr. Chair, uh, if I may wait. Uh, It's something like uh, Mr. Chairman, sir, uh, for the, yes, sir, for the first class district engineering office, it would require for the personal services 40.67 million, sir. Mm. For these, uh, because we have three classifications, sir, of our district engineering offices. For the second class, it would require 32 point. Okay. Uh, 32 million, Mr. Chair, 32.4. Third. And the third book is 25.65 million, sir. Clear. Uh, thank you, uh, Director. Okay. Uh, Baka naman pwede natin i-consider ito okay, if we are uh, uh, using the population that was uh, four year, uh, five years ago. Uh, baka umabot na sila. Baka ano na ngayon yung uh, marami ng uh, mga tao and then uh, makakatulong sa kanila to uh, pag nag-create itong uh, uh, district, na, in district engineering na to. Uh, baka baka makatulong pa mag uh, sa development ng kanyang kanilang area so because in the past yung mga training natin in the past uh, nag nagpasa din tayo ng ganito na kulang sa population ay kulang yung uh, ano go ahead go ahead uh. sir, sir, chairman actually sir uh, because of the um, creation uh, yun pong uh, di, uh, Sambuanga del Norte second yung mother po would already be deficient and yung proposed because it will it will the population will go down into 239,000 sir and uh, that would also be true uh, especially dun sa proposed Mr. Chairman because the population would only be 132,000. Sir, uh, the, the, the the department order is uh, the guide or the policy of the department, and we apply this nationwide, Mr. Chairman, uh, in, in the creation of all the district engineering offices. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Thank yes, you, Mr. Senator, Chair. Senator Bong Ribillag, uh, go ahead, you recognize. Yes, Mr. Chair, um, there's really uh, a need for DPWH to revisit the guidelines being used for creation of DEOs. We have raised this before in our uh, previous hearings. No? Having said that, kumaga, palagi na lang natin inaano hanggang hindi pa rin nilang nire-result. So I move that we approve the House Bill number 6227, considering the position offered by the pro proponents. So I move, Mr. Mr. Chair. Okay, uh, noted your uh, suggestion and uh, your motion. Uh, there's there's a motion and then to approve. Uh, is there any objection? Question, Chair. Um, I am. Really, that in so many cases, this is really a deterrent to development. Surely, road building should be in areas that are remote, known to be among the poorest and uh, most uh, highly uh, vulnerable. Okay. Uh,
district. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Since there is a motion, um, if there's any objection, hearing na, hearing na the motion is approved. Okay, problem? Thank you. Um, director, um, director Yanis, uh, could you uh, visit again the the, the guidelines of uh, uh, and revisit the DPWH guidelines? Because, uh, parang hindi na tayo pa ulit ulit ng ano. Next time para next hearing uh, ano natin. Uh, Mr. Chair, we will we'll, we'll, uh, report to the principal, Mr. Chair, to our secretary, sir. Thank you, uh, Director. Uh, yes, sir. Let's uh, move on. <laughs> okay, we have House Bill number 5892, authored by Kong uh, Rogelio Nel uh, Roque. May, uh, may comment ka ba dito, uh, Kong? Congressman uh, Roque? Hello, good morning, Mr. Sure. Uh, Chair, Congressman Roque, and everybody. Good morning. Yes. Uh, can you hear me, Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, this is a uh, creation engineering district uh, again in the uh, province of Bukidnon. Go ahead, uh, yes. Kong Rohilio. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, it's regarding the House Bill number 5802, uh, New Engineering, District Engineering Office in the province of Bukidnon, the 4th District. Uh, I believe, Mr. Chair, this was approved during the last uh, Senate uh, committee hearing with you. And I hope uh, this time also it will be approved. And uh, I only received a communication with the Department of Public Works and Highways that it did not uh, qualify with the uh, road uh, uh, length of the district. But, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, right now, since my first term, there are so many uh, road segments that are made by the Department of Public Works and Highways, the uh, new highways, the Sairi Highway Parallel Road 2, and the bypass roads. And so I believe, Mr. Chair, this time, uh, the road segment uh, will qualify. So... Uh, let me ask you questions. A uh, uh, question: uh, The uh, what's the population of this district? The population, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, it's around uh, three three hundred thousand, Mr. Chair. Okay. Okay. A success, no. About the length. Oh, uh, one hundred. The. Total length, Mr. Chair, is uh, 145 kilometers, Mr. Chair, but uh, excluding the bypass roads that are made by Department of Public Works and Highways, and excluding the uh, Sairi Highway Parallel Road 2, which is also very long, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, uh, Kong. Uh, I'd like to ask the Director Lianis uh, for any comments. May I, may I be recognized, Mr. Chair? Yes, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, uh, good afternoon once again, Mr. Chairman, to, to the honorable uh, senators and congressmen. Sir, this is the official response of the PWH regarding the House Bill 5892. Uh, the, <coughs> the creation of Pokidnon Court. District Engineering Office with a total length of 145.89 kilometers, population of 287,720, and land area of 1,300 uh, square kilometers, conforms to the 
to the criteria, Mr. Chairman, of Department Order 110, Series of 2016. If I may continue, Mr. Chair, however, it would result, this this would result to the downgrading of the existing Bukidnon first and third district engineering office from first to second class, which would be left with 218 kilometers and 218.41 kilometers and 218.63 kilometers to be administered respectively. That's the comment of, Ms. of the department, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Kong, any comments with that? Any comments on that, uh, Kong? Uh, Kong, uh, Rogelio? Mr. Chair, can you hear me? Yes, uh, I can hear you. Okay, Mr. Chair. Uh, that's the reason of the Department of Public Works and Highways. But the first engineering district uh, has so many new highways going to Hingo or going to Butuan. I don't believe that they will be downgraded anymore, Mr. Chair, uh, including the third engineering district, which has a, has a new highway going to Iligan City. Uh, so oh, I believe, Mr. Chair, uh, those two districts will not be downgraded anymore because uh, they have uh, so many uh, bypasses roads that are made and a new highway that are made to go into other provinces, Mr. Chair. Thank you. So thank you, Kong, for your explanation. Okay. Uh, you know, there's any um, a motion to approve? Okay, Mr. Chair, um, I move that we approve uh, at the committee level House Bill number two. Considering its compliance with the DPWH guidelines as well, as well as the position of the proponent. Again, I reiterate my, my call for the revisiting of the guidelines. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? Hearing none, um, motion is approved. Thank you. Uh, I have to uh, remind everyone uh, we still have a uh, a lot of uh, uh, topics today, but our time is short. So uh, those who are uh, explaining too long their position, uh, maybe they can submit their position to the committee secretary uh, and just uh, comment a short, uh, less than a, a minute or 30 seconds para enable us to uh, uh, finish this uh, uh, all uh, uh, topics and creation of the district and uh, release. Mr. Chairman, yung next ano po, HB 5890 chaka 5891 recommended po ng DPWH. So, baka pwede po nalang mag move. 5890 chaka 5891. I'll ask for... Uh, Di ba, Director Llanes? Wala naman silang ano. Okay. Conform to the criteria sila, so baka pwede na po mag-motion. If there's any motion for approval of yes. 5890 and 5891. Mr. Chair. Yes, yes. Uh, any comment, uh, Director uh, Llanes? In, in, in fact, even 5885. One, please. Five five eight nine zero five eight nine one and five eight five five are uh, all conform to the to the criteria for creation of district engineering offices per department order one one zero, Mr. Chairman, series of twenty sixteen. Thank you, sir. Uh, um, do we have a motion to approve uh, measure five eight nine zero five eight nine one five eight five five? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, um, I would like uh, to make a, an omnibus motion to uh, uh, pass the uh, following House bills, 5890, 5891, 5855. These are long-awaited uh, um, engineering districts that uh, their uh, provinces urgently require for growth and development. 
Is there any objection? Yes, I Senator Bong Rebilla. I second the motion of uh, Senator Aimi. Omnibus motion. Okay, there's, there's uh, a motion number 5890, 5891, and 5955. There's a motion and uh, second motion. Is there any objection? Hearing none. Uh, motion is approved. Okay, let's proceed to road uh, conversion. Um, we have House Bill number 6585, authored by Kong uh, Pablo Ortega. Can we ask uh, Kong Pablo Ortega's comment? Uh, just a short, short comment. Kung mahabayan sa i-submit na lang sa committee secretary. Sen, wala po si Kong Ortega. And in any case, move. Uh, um, this is uh, clearly a uh, requisite that there be a bypass extension road in the province of La Union, and I move <coughs> for its approval. There is a motion for approval. If there's any objection, hearing none, uh, motion is approved. Okay, let's. Uh, Fast track this. Yes. <laughs> okay, 6492. Now we have House Bill 6492, authored by Kong uh, Maximo <coughs> Dialog. Let me ask uh, the author for comments, uh, for short comments. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Can you hear me, Mr. Chair? Yes, yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> the Honorable Chairman, uh, Senator Manny, Manny Pacquiao, member of the Committee, my dear colleagues and guests from the DPWH, I said good morning to all of you. Uh, Sagada Busao, uh, House Bill number 6492 seeks to convert the Sagada Sino Ilocosur Road, presently classified as a provincial road, into a national road. The conversion of the said road into a national road would benefit both the provinces of Mountain Province and Ilocosur linking not only the two provinces but also the two regions of Cordillera and Region 1. Mountain Province is among the 20 poorest provinces in the country and with the sustained maintenance of the road, if converted into a national road, the socio-economic well-being of the people using the state and the communities traversed by it will de definitely be enhanced. In view, I humbly ask the members of this committee for the approval of the foregoing bill. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair and members of the, the Honorable okay. Committee. Thank Before you. we... Uh, okay, is Senator Bong Rebilla? Yes, uh, I move... Yes, Mr. Chair? I move that we uh, approve the at the committee level the House Bill number... Yes, Mr. Chair? So I move, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, uh, Senator Aime, it's recognized. I'd like to move, Mr. Chair. Hi, Mr. Chair. Yes, yes, uh, I can hear you. Chair. Wala, wala signal mo dyan yes, sa Ilocos. Yes, in support. Sa Ilocos eh. Yes, in support. Northern Luzon, uh, mate, I would like to endorse the approval um, of House Bill. No, oh, um, there's since there's a motion. There is a, there is a motion. Thank you, uh, Senator. Chapi pero uh, Senator Bong Rebilla already uh, has a motion. Uh, oh, then I second Paul. Okay. Uh, since there's a motion, uh, is there any objection of the motion? Hearing none. Motion is approved. Let's move on. Lock it now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have House Bill uh, number 6491, authored by Kong Mark Go. Uh, can we ask a comment to Kong Mark Go? Yes, anak-mute ka, Kong. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Marami pong salamat, uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao, Senator Raimi, uh, and Senator Bong, at sa akin pong makasama sa Kongreso. Yung bill po namin uh, is basically to have an all-weather road. Uh, ang Kenon Road, uh, we have a lot of uh, accidents due to landslides uh, dito po sa Kenon Road. What we wanted is an honest to goodness total rehabilitation ng Kenon Road. And this is provided for in my House Bill 6491. I asked the Honorable Committee in the Senate to approve uh, uh, this bill, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, and members of the Senate. Uh, thank you po. Okay. So, um, kailan pa bang magtanong? No? Thank you very much. I move for the approval of HB. Uh, Mr. Chair, may we be recognized from the DPWH? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, this is Engineer Go, uh, Director Lianes. Ah, Engineer. Oh. Uh, this is to inform the body that there is an existing, currently, uh, yesterday yeah. it was signed by Secretary Villar, a technical assistance agreement for the rehabilitation of Cannon Road. So may we ask uh, Congressman Mark Go if what will be the scope of House Bill that is that is being proposed because they might be in in conflict with each other. Thank you. No, what we wanted, uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, what we wanted is total rehabilitation of Cannon Road from Camp One to Camp Eight. Camp One to Camp Six uh, is basically Tuba Benguet, and Camp Seven to Camp Eight is Baguio. So what we want is an overall total rehabilitation of the road so that it will not have a situation where it is uh, always open and closed uh, because of landslide caused by just uh, a, an ordinary rain. We see a lot of landslides in Cannon Road. So what we wanted is really uh, a total uh, rehab of, uh, of Cannon Road. I don't think there is a conflict between uh, what is being... Uh, uh, proposed by the Department of Public Works with this bill, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. I don't think there's a conflict with that, uh, Mr. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, uh, Senator, uh, I'm Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, Congressman Mark Go, having clarified that this is Camp 1 to Camp 8, therefore that covers to Babenguet and Baguio City, uh, I move that we approve House Bill 6591. Mr. Chair, may we be recognized from BPWH? Yes, yes, I recognize uh, Go ahead. The same scope is also being proposed by DPWH. This is also from Camp 1 to Camp 6. Uh, Congressman, go respectfully. Uh, I believe we have conducted meetings uh, at Baguio City regarding this project. So it is proposed also for PPP implementation, the total rehab of Cannon Road. We are with you that we want to have a truly passable road, an all-weather road for Baguio City. So may maybe we can uh, check first the provisions under the Cannon Road Technical Assistance Agreement because a feasibility study will also be conducted by the department, which will also include the subsequent bidding and the rehabilitation of the project. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I yes. may be allowed to answer. Akong uh, Congo, Congressman Go, recognize. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chair, once uh, this bill is approved, uh, the implementation will be the, in the hands of the DPWH. So they will come out with uh, several measures to implement the bill that we will approve into law. So I don't see any problem with uh, what is being planned right now by the Department of Public Works and Highways, uh, Mr. So, Chair. Uh, so meaning uh, this is a formality, um, formality for the yes, that's right, Mr. rehabilitation, okay. That's right, Mr. Chair. This is a formality that will strengthen our commitment to the full restoration of Cannon Road from end to end, Camp 1 to 8. So I move for its approval, please. Okay, there's a motion. Second. Oh, there's a motion and there's a second motion uh, to approve this uh, um, bill uh, 6491. Is there any objection? No objection. Okay, uh, the bill is approved. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, 
Senator Manny, Senator yes. uh, Aime, and Senator Bong. Thank you, Justin. Thank you here in Baguio. Justin here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, national. Let's proceed to uh, construction of national highway from Lanao del Norte to Lanao del Sur. Mr. Mr. Chair, hindi na kailangan marinig pa yan. Let's just <laughs> approve House Bill number. Yes, dapat di approve na yan. Gutom na si Abdullah. Oh, gutom na. Kanina pa si... Kapatid, kapatid natin yan. So, I move okay. for approval. No need for... Hearing any comments? I, uh, I second the motion. Khalid is here. Abdullah is here. I think yes. uh, that forces our determination to have this approved quickly by our good chairman. Yeah. There's a motion. Abdullah, Khalid, may an. Second the motion. Thank you. Complete. Thank you. There is a motion. A second the motion. Is there any objection? Okay. Hearing none. Motion is approved. Thank you, Kong. <laughs> Okay, we have um, uh, authored by Kong Raul Delmar. Uh, we are informed that Kong Delmar. Mr. Yes. Okay. Has a point that uh, he, he cannot uh, join us today's um, hearing. Um, my representative, Basa Komsek. So, so. Construction representative. Uh, constructions of under uh, under sea tunnel of a uh, bridge from Cebu City to Maxim Port. Baka sir, may comment po yung DPWH. Uh, yes. yeah, Mr. Chair, there was a question also by uh, some constituents whether this was the same undersea tunnel that is presently be being built and with a link expressway that's now 41.69% complete. Uh, that's a question to the public works. Let let, let uh, ask the public works. Uh, uh, Director Lian Lanis, uh, what can you say about this? Good afternoon again, Mr. Chairman. Sir, actually, this is uh, our uh, response or comment to House Bill 5887. Uh, but, sir, it's, I don't know if this is, I think it, it's still for signature of our uh, undersecretary in charge. But if you may allow me, Mr. Chair, to read what is written in the recommendation or comment. Go ahead, go ahead, please. So this is the uh, comment, uh, Mr. Chair, though, though uh, not yet submitted to you. Uh, due to the technical complexity of undersea tunnel and the lack of experience of DPWAs in implementing such projects, the department is undertaking tunnel projects through Official Development Assistance or ODA. The latest application is under JICA to assist in implementation of the projects and at the same time to enhance the capacity of the department in tunnel construction through technology transfer. Nonetheless, the DPWH is continuously studying, monitoring, and implementing projects to address traffic congestion issues in Cebu province, such as the NED approved Port Cebu Mactan Bridge, ongoing Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway, or CCLEX, and the already constructed first and second Mactan Bridge. That's the uh, content of our comment, Mr. Chair, to be submitted to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director Lanes. Uh, since uh, this uh, bill is uh, very uh, uh, conflict of, um, I mean, it's not conflict, but uh, very important uh, bill so, to tackle. So this is a highly technical, um, we should uh, discuss this uh, more times, uh, this bill about this uh this project so uh let's uh we'll go back uh we'll talk this uh, again uh, in the next uh, hearing and let's uh proceed to another uh, 
Bill, because we don't have enough time. May mga ano pa tayo? Okay. Thank God. We have House Bill number 1079, authored by Kong Jose um, Antonio C. Alvarado. Mm. Can we ask the author any comments? Nakamute ka, Comsec. Kapan wala po si Congressman Alvarado, pwede po natin hinga ng comment yung taga DPWH. Yes, uh... Director General Yanis, uh, what is your comment about this um, bill? Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So for House Bill Number One Zero Seven Nine, the comment of DPWH to be submitted to you, Mr. Chairman. So the project is also known as the Manila Bay Integrated Flood Control Coastal Defense and Expressway, connecting Kamanaba and CR to Bataan Province in Region 3, traversing the provinces of Bulacan and Pampanga. The study was originally submitted as an unsolicited proposal in 2016. The project is currently under the review of the NEDA ICC. The DPW has already forwarded all the original proponent questions to the NEDA uh, from the NEDA for, re for review of the committee and will be forwarding the said aid, the said uh, responses as we receive, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, uh, Director. Since uh, the author of this uh, bill is not here, uh, let's tackle this again on the next uh, uh, committee hearing. So let's proceed the last and final round. <laughs> House Bill 497, uh, um, authored by Kong Raul Dilmar. Um, he's not here also. So this is a uh, construction of Circumvincial Road, uh, Cebu City. Wala ring representative si Comtec. Wala, representative si wala sir. Nag, yun lang po yung letter niya na sabi na hindi po siya makakarating. Pero wala po siyang pinadalang representative. Okay, since um, the author of this bill is not here, present, so let's uh, tackle this again in the next um, uh, committee hearing. So, thank you very much to all the uh, uh, guests uh, for giving time to this uh, committee hearing. Uh, there will be no other matter to discuss, to be discussed, uh, either or I join this hearing. Uh, thank you very much and good afternoon, everyone. God bless. Salamat.